Hello, this is Shehbaz Sadiq and welcome to my channel. Today we learn how to send email from your Zamp localhost server using the Gmail. Before you start, if you have not subscribed yet, please do subscribe by clicking on the red button below. Also be sure to hit the bell icon for the notifications of the latest videos. So let's start. Today we will see how to configure the XAMPP server for email using the Gmail account. So we've, we will follow some steps. So now let's start. So this is the first step. Uh, open the XAMPP installation directory and go to the C XAMPP PHP and open.php.ini file. Now we go to the XAMPP directory next in XAMPP and then go inside the PHP directory here is the file and let me open this file into the editor uh, and now I will find the mail function let's copy and paste and found it now I will change the STM, SMTP server first of all which is gmail.com now actually we will use the gmail account that's why we use SMTP server of gmail account command the previous one and then paste and next I will replace the SMTP port which is 587 but normally uh, the port is 25 Paste it. and the next parameter is send mail from and I will set the email which I want to use as a sender email so let me copy this parameter and paste into the php.ini file Now I will change my gmail account and the next is send path inside the XAMPP server directory which is send mail.exe file will be execute now I am gonna fire added this parameter is the send path is the now saved now see second steps parameter go to C and now actually um, now I will find the send yeah go to the PHP and go to the send mail directory and we'll open the sendmail.ini file now we'll find the sendmail function in this file and in this here the first parameter is the smtp server same as previous file which is gmail command the previous one and paste the new one and after this the next is smtp port which is same as 557 and, and the next is uh, after this smtp port just uh, after this SMT port uh, command the previous one and now the next port uh, next parameter is the error log file and the paste in the uh, yeah here but you, you see both are same so don't need to replace 
if different in your case then you can replace this one and after this debug log file paste it what previous one is comment was comment. now the next is author username in the author username you have to put your gmail id or address no i'll put my gmail address okay and now the next is the author password in this parameter you also have to put the your gmail password for the authentication and after the last one is the four standard it's optional if you want to put this one is okay and if you don't want to put then also it's okay it's not a compulsory parameter here you just uh, paste your gmail id and i will paste okay now i think the setting process almost complete now let's try to send email to zen server or you can say a local server go to it docs directory i have already created file for email open this php file index.php into the reader here i said email address where i want to send email into the into in to email variable and set a subject in, into the subject variable and set a message in the body variable and after this if the server is get ready to send emails then after sent email this message will show successfully otherwise failed let's try now i'm gonna test open the browser slash test email email underscore test oh, something wrong it's mean if you face error after all these settings then it's mean need to configure your gmail account for gmail account configuration follow the step three which is less secure app parameter this is need to be configured if you enable this before then don't need to configure otherwise for the first time you have to configure this one go to the link below i have put in the description paste into the browser so here you can see uh, click on the less secure app is off and now click click on it to turn off now let me on this one J this uh, this is the reason for email filling process now and again go to the mail uh, email test page when I, uh, now refresh the page and check is it working or not Uh, now you can see email successfully sent and it's meaning sending email through local server is working great now I should receive an email in my gmail account so for test uh, for checking let me check my on my account let me open my account yeah here great here I have received the email no okay let's open this email now you can see the subject message all these things uh, I have sent email to my local server successfully now you can set your local server and then you can send emails using your gmail account so don't need to open your gmail account 
that's all for now the, in this video and please do like and share and if you have not subscribed yet please do subscribe by clicking on the red button below also be sure to hit the bell icon for the notifications of the latest videos thanks for watching this video please keep support and see you in the next video